Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to fix this right here. Software update failed, an error occurred downloading iOS 15.3.1. So I had this issue personally on my iPhone 6S. Uh, by the end, I'm going to show you how to solve this issue. And by the end, you'll be able to update your software without fail. So I record this for iOS 14.8.1, just keep that in mind. Of the process is the exact same for 15.3.1. Uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So the first step, what I want you to do is best practice is to just force restart your device. So in order to force restart, if you have a capacitive home button, you hold down the power and home button together until you see the Apple logo. Just give it a little bit. Once you see the Apple logo, release both buttons off of your device. Now, if you have a capacitive home button, a capacitive home button is a home button where when you click it, there isn't a physical part being clicked, but you get a haptic a touch feedback. You just want to hold down the power and volume down buttons together until you see the apple logo once you see the apple logo release both uh, buttons now if you have an iphone without the um uh, the home button here what you want to do is it's a bit more complicated you just want to tap up then tap down and then tap the uh, uh hold down the power button so tap up tap down hold the power button give it a little bit once you see the Apple logo, release the power button, and then you should be brought back to the home screen. So what you want to do before you actually try the software update again after the full restart is I want you to open up settings, general, and then iPhone storage right here. Make sure you have enough storage available for the software update to download. So I have uh, 20 something gig available. That means I'm good to go. No issues there. If you have one gig left, you know, two gigs left, make sure you have at least five gigs of storage available. Just clean up your files. Maybe you should uh, offload some applications. If you have the option to offload, uh, that is, it should show up right here. If you don't, you may need to delete some photos, all that good stuff, and then you'll be good to go. Next, you just want to go to this page still. And if you have the iOS update uh, showing in this downloads page, I recommend you delete it and then try again. So I actually did this earlier. So you can see I'm still currently on iOS 14.6 and I'm trying to update to iOS 14.8.1. And you can see if I just wait for this to load, it's going to say download and install here. But if you just take a look at the picture, uh, now, now it shows here, but usually it just says install here. Uh, I'm assuming after the software update failed, that automatically deleted the software update. But if you have this inside of the uh, iPhone storage, you want to delete it. And finally, you just want to check if you have Cydia on your device. So if you have Cydia and you've jailbroken, uh, the jailbreak will block you from updating. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to unjailbreak your device. And so if you have CheckRain, you just want to run CheckRain and open up the CheckRain loader. Find the restore file system inside the CheckRain loader. You're good to go. In Uncover Jailbreak, you just want to tap on Restore to FS, and then you'll be good to go. So that's going to fix it for me. That is the uh, root cause of why my software updates are not working. It's because I am jailbroken. However, if you went through all those fixes and you're still getting the software update error, uh, I'm going to show you exactly what to do in order to solve the issue. So we're going to actually have to enable uh recovery mode and then we're going to have to update the latest ios so how do we do this well uh, on a capacitive phone button device while plugged into the computer very important that you are plugged into the computer uh, if you aren't well then well, you're screwed well and you're not screwed you just can't enter recovery mode right so you just want to hold down power and home button together and because i'm not plugged in i'm just going to show you the process here hold down power and home and when you see the apple logo you just want to release the power button but keep on holding the home button. This is for iPhones, which have again that like, uh, physical home button, and you just hold down the home button. Once you see the recovery screen, you'll see a TV and a you know a cable. You'll be good to go. Just on the computer, you will have the option to restore your iPhone. You will need to tap on restore. You will lose all your data. So before then, you may want to create a backup just in case, and then you'll be good to go. And that will one hundred percent solve the issue on the uh you know the capacity home button device where you have the haptic touch here. Hold down power and volume down. And once you see the Apple logo, you just want to release uh, the uh, the power button here, but keep on holding the volume down. And if you have a uh, physical, uh, physical, <laughs> no home button device, right? What you want to do is you want to tap up, down, and then hold power. And just keep on holding the power button until you see the recovery screen, right? So you just want to keep on holding it down until you see that recovery screen, and then you'll be good to go. So uh, that should solve the issue. What I want to do is I'm going to come back. Uh, I'm going to unjailbreak my device, and I'm going to show you that that actually does fix the issue, uh, that this tutorial does work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unjailbreak, and I'm going to show you the software update, uh, fully working, uh, me updating to iOS 14.8.1. Again, let me just show you real quick. If I go to the back page settings, I'm currently on iOS 14.6, so I'm going to cut and show you that this is 100% working tutorial.
All right, guys, so this has been, you know, a couple of days later. I had to put this video on the back burner, mainly because my internet just went down. But you can see I have Angel Rock on my iPhone 6S. There's no more Sidia, no more Check Rain, none of that crap. And now I'm downloading iOS 14.8.1. This is the uh, same iPhone 6S. Hopefully, I did show the back earlier. You can see there's a 262 poster. Look at all those scratches. Same screen protector. So I'm going to wait for this to download. Hopefully, I can capture uh, me tapping on installing and, you know, no issues showing up. However, if I can't, I'll just show you that by the end. I am on iOS 14.8.1 and everything did work successfully. So I'm just going to cut the video. All right, moment of truth. Let's just tap on install now here. So usually when it says verifying update, that's when the error shows up. So if I actually get to like a black screen, we see the progress bar. That means that the fix did work. And I'm just going to cut it and you'll be able to see the end iOS 14.8.1. So it's taking its time. Uh, it should work though, because, you know, I've done this before. <laughs> I've had the issue before. So we'll just give it a little bit for it to uh, verify the update. I want to make sure that, you know, you're downloading an unsigned version of iOS. And there you go. Just like that, you can see uh, the black screen right here. That means that the issue has been solved. You know, if you have the issue, you're not able to get past that screen. So I want to cut to once I'm on iOS 14.8.1. Ladies and gentlemen, you see this message right here. Your iPhone has been updated to iOS 14.8.1. You can see this is actually, you know, happening. This is fully legit. Let's go to settings real quick. General and about. And you can see, there we go. The update has been successful. All the issues have been solved. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're, if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.